Hi friends, you know, not very many things uh, get my blood going like a good custom revolver. And today we have a real treat. Uh, this is a custom Ruger GP100 done by Mark Morganti of Gemini Customs. So let's take a peek. You know, I wrote a cover story on this in the November 2022 issue of Guns Magazine. Now the base gun is a, uh, a limited run Ruger GP100, seven shot uh, Novak sights. You know, as it stands, it's a pretty solid 357 Magnum seven shot kind of fighting concealed carry pistol. It's a heavy gun, it's all steel, but that also adds a certain amount of charm to it because uh, it means that it's highly controllable uh, and a real pleasure to shoot. Mark also adds his uh, hybrid ports here, which really helps to lower the muzzle flip and the perceived recoil. This is a full build, which means Mark removes the barrel, line bores, and re-threads the frame, and then he installs what he calls his ultimate 12 angle profile barrel. He machines these individually from barrel blanks. These are not over the counter. He installs the barrel to top dead center with a barrel to cylinder gap of about six thousandths plus or minus, which is a good, it's a tight but not too tight. He does his V8 hybrid porting, which is the, you know, ports on the top. Uh, he lathe turns the barrel throat at five degrees uh, and polishes it. Lathe turns the crown at 11 degrees. Uh, he window cuts the ejector rod slot and that's actually important. That makes sure that that's square and true. And then he does a dovetail cut for Novak uh, 65 by 300 front sights. He calls this his master grade extensive dehorning and smoothing for carry. Uh, he does a surface prep to 100 to 170 fine mat for this black PVD DLC plated finish. I think that black's really handsome. Where the real magic occurs, I think, is in his double action tuning. Single action pulls 2.5 pounds, double action about 10 pounds. Trigger guard is skeletonized with ejector rod serrated at 25 lines per inch. It's a full moon clip conversion with TK Custom 7x357 Magnum moon clips also plated in that really nifty PVD copper color. Cylinder chambers are finish reamed, honed, and micro polished. Uh, the extractor is face relief cut, radius, and polished charge holes, and polished cylinder faces. It's just beautiful. Novak three dot uh, tritium night sights go in, the double dot white rear and uh, orange outlined front. He also has his Gemini Custom Gen 2 full size, world class wild olive wood fitted and bedded oil rub finish grips. Mark makes these himself in his shop. The uh, black and copper armor guard uh, that's called PVD DLC plated finishes by Richter Precision. There's seven colors available, so uh, check it out when you have Mark build your custom gun. Okay, I've got uh, seven rounds Black Hills 148 grain uh, target wad cutters, my favorite load to shoot in a 38. It's a 357, but we'll shoot a little bit of that later. And uh, I'm set up at about 15 yards, so let's just see what it does offhand, kind of casual. So. All right, here we go. Sometimes that trigger pull feels so good you just hate to stop doing it. Well, the, other than the fact I lost my mind and threw one, you can see the gun shoots pretty good. Well, we moved things in a little bit here just because uh, I've got seven rounds of uh, Black Hills Honey Badger Ammunition 38 Special, which is my favorite carry load. And uh, so let's just do sort of a cylinder dump real quick and see what happens, okay? Uh, that smooth trigger really makes it controllable, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's shoot here. You can see what I mean. I'll tell you, Mark's double action trigger pulls are legendary and for good reason. Now, just because people are gonna ask, uh, I've loaded this with five rounds of Federal uh, 180 grain. It's a cast core, they call it. It's a, a really heavy 357 Magnum. I mean, frankly, I think it's something you would go deer hunting with or something. But what I wanna show you with this though is the fact these ports really uh, keep muzzle flip down and make the gun a lot more controllable. 
I don't advocate that you shoot ammo like this in a gun like this. I mean, it can't hurt the gun, but it's going to beat you up. <laughs> so, all right, let's see what happens here. Five shots, here we go. Well, you can see it was actually really flat shooting. Because of these uh, great grips that Mark does, it's also actually doesn't really hurt you. <laughs> but uh, like I said before, I would prefer a 38 Special Honey Badger type personal defense load rather than some full bore 357 Magnum, you know, fire breathing monster. Okay, well, that was certainly a kind of a fast first look, but keep in mind though, if you've got your heart set on a custom gun, just do it, just go for it. Uh, clean your safe out, get rid of some of that stuff you've got in there that you haven't shot in years, sell it, and put that money to work on something. Give Mark Morganti a call at Gemini Customs, let him know that uh, we sent you. And uh, remember, it's kind of a, like a buffet, you pick what you want, and then you get what you want. And uh, you can see just how fun something like this can be. So, hey, thanks for tuning in. Remember the four firearm safety rules. Take a new shooter shooting. And uh, if you don't mind, subscribe and leave some comments. I'm sure Mark will be paying attention when this video is posted. And uh, if you have questions for him, I'm sure uh, he'd reach right out uh, to you. And uh, I will too. So, all right, you guys, uh, stay safe, and I'll see you next time.